Alrighty everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be jumping into a game that I've been meaning to play for a really long time and that is Detroit Become Human. Now we're going to be playing this on the PC version as well so I'm going to crank the settings up for you guys and have this looking amazing. I've always been a big fan of the Heavy Rain Beyond Two Souls type games. They always manage to blow my mind. The gameplay and the storytelling is just absolutely incredible so I'm really excited for this one. That being said, this is also my first playthrough that's not going to be a live stream so I appreciate all the love and support that I've been getting from all of you guys. So let's jump right into this game. Let's go. Okay, I started off the game and then this uh, robot, android looking girl, ran me through some settings. So, um, and then it just jumped straight into the game. So I just backed out and we're just going to start it again. So she kind of creeps me out. She's, oh, she blinks. <laughs> we'll just jump straight into this fresh. So I'm gathering that there's some kind of, yeah, androids, robots or something like that. I have no idea I'm going into this story, like, I, I know nothing about it. So he's an android. Jeez, I want to know how to do that. Skills. <clears throat> I'm also playing on the controller because these are very quick, quick time event and I'm useless with keyboard. I'm trying to break dance my fingers trying to press two buttons at once. These graphics are crazy. John Phillips, Caroline Phillips, and Emma Phillips. That's a cool aquarium. Oh no, the fish. Cool. Uh, save it. Of course. And yeah, these are very heavy decision-making games. Like, you make one wrong move and then, like, people will die. <laughs> LB. Oh. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. We you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Jesus. What do you say? He's a negotiator, so some shit's going to find Captain Allen. Jeez. She doesn't like androids. I was checking my objectives. Oh, and interactions. So there's something over there. I'm guessing some type of hostage situation going on here. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Deviant's name? Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. So the android's taken, um... Oh shit, probability of success, 48%. I don't like that. Understand what happened? Save hostage. I need to know what happened so I can talk to him properly, if I'm a negotiator. I don't like that probability. He's got a gun. Use the right stick to move the cursor. Cool. Analyze clues. No way. Oop. Jeez, you can tell what gun it is just by the freaking case. Something else. Got bullets. Two and two together there, easy. Use LT or RT review reconstruction. Uh, 
Uh, it's kind of like there's like a thing like this in Cyberpunk. Deviant took the father's gun. Oh, that's it. All right, Andrew's got the dad's gun. Well, probability went up. Fifty-one. What? Like four percent. Yellow things are the stuff that I can interact with. Wait, what was the purpose of that? Wait, my success went down. Every second counts. Oh shit, we fucking hurry up. <laughs> Too busy listening to the music. Daniel's android. So the androids like lost the plot or something because they were besties. I don't know why he's gone all rogue on her. You've unlocked a dialogue. I'm not done yet. Shit on the floor. Oh, he's killed the... Oh, man. So, what, Android's killed the parents. See, this is why we don't... We shouldn't be fucking with robots. Jeez. This type of shit could happen in real life. Shot him in the back. Father was holding something. <laughs> Hit twice, damn. It's the thing. got jealous. Oh shit. Oh, oh, I'm in the way. Sorry, sorry. Just kind of sus. Just kill all the cops. Kill the parents. Tried to shoot the android. Oh, he's like right in front of him. Oh, she saw him get shot. That's sad ass. Oh, so android's been hit. There's a gun. What if I can take that and use it? Okay. Yeah. Wouldn't hurt to have one. Ready to assault them. Jeez. Let's go in 
prepared. She's turned the stove off. 77%. I wonder if this is like something that will just waste time. Alright, I'm not gonna bother with the pot. Save the hostage. Yeah, locate the hostage. Alright, okay. I feel like my probability will go down because I've wasted time. Android blood? What are we waiting for? We should take down this asshole. Ooh. Fresh blue blood. Android blood. Wait, so we were going to replace him with another PL-600? Yeah, be careful now. I'm not missing. Popping off shots. Human lives. By all signs, the SWAT team all right, wasting time, wasting time. You know what? <laughs> Just because it's annoying me. Family was about to have dinner. Okay, that might have been more useful than I thought. Talk to these guys. Not ready to go outside. What are we waiting for? So they got little kids and they don't have like a proper railing for that pool. Oh. They got blue blood. They kind of remind me of like the androids in like the Alien series. Oh my god, he got his serial number just from tasting his blood. How much do these things cost and people just have them in their house? Like, these are a pretty advanced piece of tech, I would say. We're good. 83%. Oh. oh. Not done yet. Ooh. Oh. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! Don't do it, Daniel. Go, go, go! Oh, shit. Okay, they did have a railing. He's just broken. Hi, Daniel! My name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Uh oh. Gain. Approach slowly. Gain his trust. Um. I know you're angry, Daniel. But you need to trust me. The ground is in the and stick. let me help. I don't want your help. Nobody can help me. All I want is for all this to stop. I just want all this to stop. Just put the gun down. Oh. Are you armed? Lie. Uh, you know, I'll be truthful with you. Yes. I have a gun. Drop it. All right, I'll drop it. No sudden moves or I'll shoot. I'll, you can trust me. I'll drop it. There. See? No more gun. Uh. I've unlocked stuff. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. I was kind of like I did too close. She's like all the other humans. Daniel, no! No. Realistic, blaming, def defective. You're defective, Daniel. <gasps> no, I there's didn't a problem that. with your software. We're going to fix you, and everything will be okay. I don't need to be fixed. I'm working perfectly. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh no. But my eyes are open now. I will never let anyone humiliate me again. Man, he's pissed. Ever. Blaming, sympathetic. Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I loved them, you know? But I was nothing to them. <gasps> just a slave to be ordered around. Be 
coming our way. Oh no. I can't stand that noise anymore! Tell that helicopter to get out of here! Yep, do what he says. Trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. Yep, whatever you when want. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Yep, whatever you want. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. Sacrifice self. Reassure. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Okay. I trust you. You're negotiating. Oh. oh. I kind of feel bad now for her. Still got his gun. You lied to me, Connor. You lied to me. I didn't do it. So the scenes flowchart. Here you can review the past you've taken, the past yet to be explored. Oh, okay. So this game's probably got like a lot of replayability. Due to the nature of the game, some nodes and endings will not be counted towards the completion of the flowchart. So like you really gotta snipe a shot deviant. I don't think there's any other endings but that, but look, kind of cool. Oh wait. Oh, this is the whole timeline of the game. So see, I missed something there. Oh, so there's there's four, five, four different endings, five different endings. That's pretty cool. I mean, look look how many op like opportunities you can get. So respect. So Cyberlife seem to be the manufacturers of these androids. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and diets. And handles the kids' home from elementary school up to university level. Wow. Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it cost? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range at seven thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars. This is so with choppy. With forty-eight months interest free credit, and it comes with a two-year warranty for parts and labor. This is so fucking choppy. Accessing the options section. Your parameters have been saved. This is the top-of-the-range household assistant. 
<laughs> just staring at me. Come on, Zoe, let's go. And handles the kids' homework. Elementary school up to the first. Things are pretty programmed. <laughs> Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it costs? Yeah, how much are these? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range at seven thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars with a forty-eight months interest-free credit. <laughs> I mean, they're not as expensive as I thought they'd be. And it comes for parts and labor. We'll get a pre owned model for three grand. Like, we'll take it. <laughs> An excellent choice. <laughs> if you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. Look, a pre-owned Z two hundred. That's eighteen hundred dollars. Jeez, like iPhones are just as expensive. <laughs> there it is. It was a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, oh, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? So I'm like refurb. I did. <laughs> AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Jeez, look at the eyes. Like, just so, it looks so realistic. So, obviously in Detroit. What a cool concept. It's so good to see like games take on like different stuff. I mean it's now it's like a futuristic -y type game situation, but just the concepts. Lost in the visuals. <laughs> Gorgeous graphics. That's the other thing too, like all these rob androids be like taking up people's jobs and you can imagine all the differences that would make for people. I guess that's kind of a good thing and a bad thing, but I mean, you still got that scare of them like rebelling against humans like that and then shit happens. Take an android. Oh, thank you. So, wait, what are we doing? Retrieve order. So, I can't tell like what I can interact with and what I can't, but. <laughs> Little personal trainer android. That is. No. So is this like semi free roamy? I think it's just a level bit. Oh, look at this. That's so rude. People are just so mean. I mean, I know they're androids, but. But the slaves are becoming the master. 
Yeah, of course. We no longer live without them. They're in our homes, our schools, our factories. They take our jobs. They mind our children. They care for our old. Why do you look at me so, demon? I know who you are. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. So there's going to be some radicals for something. We can no longer live without these slaves obeying our every Keep walking. Selfish desire. Can I run? We prefer to live with machines and with our own oh, time. Oh, that's like changing the camera. Oop. Oop. <laughs> My bad. Jeez, they're just like on display. Oh, paint job. Oh yeah, I want to talk to the homeless guy. Jeez. Alright, not interactive as I thought. It's very eerie in the shop. <laughs> Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. See an Android is on? Yeah, he is. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. <laughs> Imagine that. Seeing the Android to go get all your shopping. Temporary parking. <laughs> what? Protesting. Where do we want it? What do we I'm gonna walk through him. <laughs> Just to piss him off. <laughs> Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? What are you doing? Hmm? Okay. <laughs> hey guys, He's got, check like, it out. Nice cute birthmark. <laughs> Oh, sad. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. It's not their fault. Oh my god, don't break my paints. Oh. Surely they don't feel pain. There's the police. Like, surely this is like an offense. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it. Like, I. Yeah. I was gonna say. It's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Oh my god, it's a freaking robot. I damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. Good. We can take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. Let's go, one on one. Dude, like, you can't, you can't blame the robots themselves. Like, if you're gonna blame somebody, blame, like, yeah, Cyberlife, like, the company. I wanna sus. Oh. I guess that's why they're protesting right out front of the shop. <laughs> this game has its, like, choppy moments. But... No seats, they just stand. <laughs> oh, that's like their own little... <laughs> oh, jeez. That was a bug. <laughs> Not really 
really impressed with this game's performance right now. Like, my system can run it, no, no doubt, but... Wait, there was other options? Really? What the hell would I could have done? Oh, I got no idea. Look, I reckon we'll call that a wrap on this part, but uh, it seems pretty interesting, and I can only imagine it's going to get juicier, because these games don't hold back. Like, they get... Like, they can get dark, they can get hard, and the decision-making just really makes it unique. And that's what I actually really enjoy about them. So we will do more on the next run. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.